Hey guys, Preeson here, and we're back with uh, a new LP, actually. Um, I thought since Jekha um if you understood that, <laughs> is doing a Pokemon part, I thought, you know, so shall I. I love Pokemon, and uh, as fond as I am of some of the older gens, uh, actually, JK is doing one of my more favorite ones, which is the, uh, the Emerald series, because... Uh, not the Emerald series, the um, the third gen, which is Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald. Um, I would have to say, it would, in order, it would probably be second, first, third, uh, fourth, fifth, I don't know. But um, I still do like, I think I like all the gens, uh, despite some of the newer Pokemon changes. But uh, no matter, let's not talk about my preferences right away. Let's just start up the LP part, and um, I'm going to start up the emulator. Um, okay, so... I'm playing this on an emulator for one, and um, it's a DS emulator because this is indeed a DS game, and I'm able to run DS emulators now, thank god. The way I have this set up is on the left side is the top screen, and on the right side is the bottom screen, if you understand what I mean. I just thought it would look better in the video. So, this is Pokemon Platinum, which is in the 4th gen. Of Pokemon in the Sinnoh region. It's it's a good game. It's it's starting to be a little bit more 3D. Well, this is when the game uh, Pokemon game started becoming more 3D. And it's and when I say 3D, I don't mean like eye popping and uh, oh, this kind of looks cool with the uh, the side by side now because usually it's uh. Oh, this looks awesome, side by side. This is usually top and bottom, so... <laughs> awesome. But I already have my team picked out, unlike a lot of the other... A lot, unlike JKU, who uh, just actually goes along, because he actually never played uh, third gen. I have, and I already have a hand-picked team. And um, I've had people pick theirs, and I'm going to pick for some people. This is like the emerald of this gen. It's they came out with Pokemon Pearl and Diamond first, and this is Platinum. Uh, this might take me a bit to get adjusted to the the scheme of the buttons and everything. I'm not too familiar with it yet, but I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. I couldn't use really a controller for this, but <clears throat> hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. As you know, every Pokemon game starts the same, with a professor telling them about, well, what is Pokemon, and what a Pokemon journey is, and uh, that kind of stuff. So, my name is Ro uh, Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further in this, your first adventure, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Um, no need for information. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have Pokeball. Touch the button in the middle. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit different. So you're going to sometimes see my mouse and I'm going to be clicking some of these things. So this is usually the bottom of the screen. Uh, you'd click the Pokeball and boop. There's a Baneri. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and other times we work together. Some people use that their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Okay. I usually pick a male character in games. Uh, I mean, female characters in games. And, um... In Pokemon, it's the only game I actually usually pick male. But in this one specifically, I'm gonna go female one. I think the main character is kind of a douche, who's the male. Actually, you know what? No. No, I'm gonna go male. Uh, it just feels right. Uh, Pokemon, I, I can't be a girl. It just feels wrong. Alright, so, of course, other than the obvious, my name will be... Uh, select, select. I have no idea what select is. Um... There we go. All right, shift to select. Uh, P, R, R, R. 
Uh, oh, derp. Oh, crap. <sighs> All right. He's uh, gonna get some getting used to. P. R. E. S. O. N. All right. Unfortunately, I cannot <laughs> do normal precin. 101. I'm just gonna go precin. Yes, this is my name. Alright, start. Your name is Preeson. Yep. Okay, so you're Preeson. Fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe you're he's your friend. What might his name be? Um Well Barry's the actually the normal name given. Uh, I'm not gonna name him anything special. I can name him like Jeheyu and he'd be my rival. But that would be weird since JKU would be also on my team. So I'm just going to stick with Barry. Wait, hmm. Is there a name I could sh shift him to? Hmm. I'm trying to pick my brain of people I know that I can possibly make my rival. Actually, yes. Oh, derp. Uh, this is going to be actually personal. Uh, I have a friend in real life who we would use to always... Uh, make each other our rivals. Uh, he's my best friend, and he's actually what got me into Pokemon. So, our rival's gonna be called Aaron. Alright, Preston, time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, we will meet. you'll meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Oh, God, this is just something, mag something magical about Pokemon. I can't even describe it. It's just so relaxing. I don't care if people think it's for kids. I think it's even so. It's it's just I just like it. it's just it's just it's an RPG. It's it's really good. <laughs> Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you'll understand the meaning of those words. And this will, uh, was the comment left by Professor Roman, who has returned to Sinnoh for the Kanto region. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. That's an entire program. This just seems ridiculous. Brought to you by Jubilee Jubi Life TV on National Wide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. So it seems they fuse the national computer with... Oh, I was going to go for my computer, but okay. There you are. Hey, uh, hey, Preeson. Did you see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan, that's a really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'll give us some Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey. Is this your new... Wow. I forgot Barry... Uh, Aaron is just... Your rival is just so energetic and annoying. Even his music is high upbeat and... Even in the anime, he was just like running around like crazy and bumping into you and stuff. Uh, well, Ash, not you. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, oh, right, right. We're going to see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Preeson, if you're late, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm finding you $10 million. So. Oh, you know what? I don't even have a bag yet, so. That would explain it. You know, in almost, I think almost every Pokemon game, there's a potion in the beginning. And just check around the room. Dex button opens the menu. Okay, thank you. Oh, I do have a bag. Oh, alright, that's weird then. So, of course, Nintendo being Nintendo shamelessly plugging their system. Well, he has a Wii. It's controlled by a Wii remote. Thank you for telling me these things. Okay, let's go downstairs and talk to my mom who's probably there. Yep. Who's actually Dawn's mother from the anime. Preeson, and Dawn is actually the female character. Aaron already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. So, E. Let's just, just get out of here. I personally like the way he looked in uh, Pokemon Pearl and Diamond rather than this game. Oh yeah, Preeson, don't go into tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. Uh, if anyone knows Pokemon, they know that's just like common theme throughout all the Pokemon games where if you try to go out to the grass over here, um, well... There'd be someone, I'm assuming it's this guy, no matter how hard you try to sneak past him, he'll stop you and be like, whoa, 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 or she, be like, whoa, 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 
Hey, Preston, Aaron's looking for you. I think you should go home now and check it out. All right. Or usually they say something like, oh, you don't have a Pokemon? Pfft, you can't survive without a Pokemon. Seeing that Pokemon just randomly attack you, and we accept that. You need to um, you need to go on. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. Boom. Aaron, what was that about? Oh, hey, Preston. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come with me, too. And quickly. Running, running, running. Aaron, oh, geez, forgot something. Oh, now I remember. Actually. Oh, wait. Hey, Priest and Aaron was looking for you. I think. Oh, I gotta go upstairs. I forgot. My B, my B. Alright, let's just go upstairs and see what Barry wants. I mean, my rival, Aaron, whatever. Maybe I should have just called him Barry. Hey, woman, what's up? Oh, Aaron's mom. Oh, hi, Priestin. Are you looking for Aaron? He was gone for a second, but then he came running back home. He can't sit still, that boy. I wonder what he's taking after, who he takes after. Uh, let's go upstairs. Failing. I'm not used to playing with uh, uh, freaking arrow keys on a computer with Pokemon. Oh, hey, Preston. I'll be waiting on a road. If it's 10 million, find if you're late. How about we just take... Alright, well, everyone in this universe owns a Wii and a Wii remote. You know, no one has an Xbox or a PS3. I mean, well, who the hell would have a PS3? That's besides the point. Alright, let's get out of here. And go outside and meet up with Barry, who... I'm going to try this one last time. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. It's the only game you can go to the route without, like, them freaking out and stopping you. You're too slow. Okay. All right. Let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries. No problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I got an idea. Now, listen. You know how wild Pokemon jump out when you're going to the tall grass. So, what do you do is you scooch over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to the sand gem town without running into wild Pokemon. <laughs> okay, here it goes. On your marks. Hold it. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. How would he know that? I, oh, sorry. Not everyone keeps their Pokeballs at, like, the hip. Maybe it's, you know, it's in his bag or something. Hey, Preston, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? Professor. Da, 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 da. They tried to go into the tail grass because they wanted Pokemon. Da, 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 da. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. It, it's That's the one thing I never understand about Pokemon. I don't think anyone can go through the world without meeting them. I mean, it's just like they're a common thing. They're animals, pretty much, that... Well, apparently it will attack you if you walk into grass, which is everywhere. Which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. It's dangerous. So that means everyone must own a Pokemon if they want to survive. You two truly love Pokemon, don't you? Me too. I love Pokemon too. Fine. I'll ask you once again. You two love Pokemon, don't you? What? You can ask a hundred times and the answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times we love Pokemon. Right, Preason? Yep. That joke's getting old. What? Ask us a hundred times and the answer will never change. Oh, I think I accidentally hit no. Right, Preason? Yes. It's one of those things where no matter how many times you say no, it will keep. they'll keep re-asking you. But foolish to try to enter the tall grass while Pokemon own their own. It worries me that people like that would do that would do without po would do for Pokemon. Uh, well I uh, da, 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 da. well then forget about me. But give a Pokemon a friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass at all. Exclamation point! How big of you? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, that was funny. Very well, then I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you'll never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, you know, except for the point where you're probably going to have to save the world, because every single Pokemon trainer has to do that, apparently. Hmm, now where? Oh my god, it's down! Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Is there something wrong here? Well, this is kind of like, um... An homage, in a way, to Pokemon 1 and 2. I mean, uh, to the first...
I mean, Pokemon Pearl and Diamond. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe you go to the lake and you have to take out the Pokemon to save Professor Rowan, who is being attacked by some Pokemon. Or I think he just left it there by accident and you returned it to him. And you had to battle some Pokemon because they attacked you because you went to the grass without a Pokemon or something like that. Anyway, so now instead they introduce Dawn, who brings back the briefcase to him. And I think it would be the other way around if you picked Dawn, then my character would have been his assistant and brought the briefcase to him. Or not even his assistant, I think it's just some random person. Person. Um, anyway, so what I was about to do was entrust these Pokemon to their owners. Pardon? These Pokemon are hard to replace, are you sure to give them away? We exceed side by side with Pokemon. They come a time where people should meet their Pokemon. There's a world that should explore together. For them, today is the time and the place. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? I can't believe it. I'm so happy now I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Preason, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up and I have to show some class here. No, you just want to pick the exact Pokemon that would be able to kill mine easily. What's up? Where do you go? Open a briefcase and pick a Pokemon. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, let's check out what we have here. <coughs> Okay, look at these Pokeballs. There are Pokemon in each one. Now choose which Pokemon will it be. Who's this one? Tiny Leaf Pokemon, Turtwig. Okay, so I'm going to break down some of these Pokemon. Turtwig, grass Pokemon of the game. Um, he evolves into a guy called Torterra, who's a ground grass. He is a good Pokemon, but that's not that's not going to be our choice, actually. So I'm going to hit no. Chimchar, chirp Pokemon, Chimchar. Do you want to choose this one? All right, so Chimchar is, is like a chimp. Well, I said chirp, chimp Pokemon. Yes, Chimchar evolves into um, oh man, what's his involved from? Infinite, which is a fighting fire. Actually, every single Pokemon starter in this series is a dual type, which is pretty cool. Well, it evolves into a dual type. They all start as their basic ones, but when they evolve into their second form, I believe, except for, I think. The, la the next starter, they get their second um, uh, type. But once again, no, this will not be our starter. We're going with Piplup, which is the penguin water Pokemon who evolves into... Well, actually, I'm going to save that for um, surprise, actually. You'll get to see it yourself and evolve the Pokemon with me. And I think it'd be cool for anyone who doesn't know the game. Um, anyway, we're going to choose this one. And Piplup will be our starter. Anyway, Aaron goes... <coughs> Then I choose you. I'm picking this Turtwig. Rowan, very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they are much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have a tr any trouble, come see me in my lab in San Gen Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Uh, that's another thing differently. I think the professor's lab was always in your region. I mean, in your town. Now it's in a different town. Uh, Dawn going, Professor, wait up for me, please. I'm not really getting anyone voices. Uh, so I'm sorry. Please let me pass. Um, I'm not giving anyone voices, really. I mean, it's Pokemon, so what are you going to say? So how do you like that? Professor Owen's really nice. On TV, he seemed like a stern and scary dude. But now, you know, it's all good. Barry running in place. Hee <laughs> hee, precinct. We both got our Pokemon now. So only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? No. What? What's with the attitude? Don't be that way. Hee hee, Preason, we go got a Pokemon now. Only one thing to do. Are you up for this? No. <laughs> it's just recycled dialogue any every time. Fine. It's finally time to come. Preason, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. You're challenged by Professor Tra uh, Pokemon Trainer. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we're going to talk about the screen a little bit right now. Um, like I said, usually the the right screen's on the bottom, and I think it actually looks pretty cool now that's on the right side. I think that'll be pretty cool. If I wanted to, I can use my mouse and click it, and let's say do pound. I'm probably not going to do that that much, because I don't think you guys want to see the mouse, and it'd be annoying, and eh, 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 eh. So I'm just going to use the keys uh, like a normal person. I think I actually do that normally when I play also, which is a little bit faster. What in the, that one hurts you? Alright, so let's, it's, I think it's pretty much impossible to lose this first battle. Regardless of their type advantage. For one, they don't even have their move that could kill you. In terms of like, 
Um, I guess Razor Leaf would be an example here. But I think even if they got you down to like one health with their normal move, like Tackle, they'll just keep using their extra moves in order to uh, give you time to kill them. Anyway, so all Pipple knows right now is Pound and... Uh, Pound and... Um, Growl, I believe? Yeah. No, I'm not going to use Growl. Just keep pounding him in the freaking hard head of his. She's going to keep using Withdrawal, which is going to make it even longer to kill him, but whatever. Just keep punch him in the head. Seriously, dude. Die. Christ. I'm gonna have to like change this music noise because I can't even hear the uh Alright, almost dead. So close. Ah oh, god. No. No, you're going to die. There we go. The foe Turtwig fainted. Pip up gained a level, I'm pretty sure. Level 6. Aw, ye. So now I've defeated my rival for the first time, and... Ye. Ooh, let's go home. I'm beat after the battle. My Pokemon need rest, too. See ya, person. So... My mother's gonna talk to me. Wonderful. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Aaron are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think of the wild Pokemon I'd have done to you two. Preston, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sang Gen Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be a threatening. Oh, I know. Preston, put these on. Preston received a pair of running shoes. Thank God they give you these early in the game, because I don't know what to do myself if they made me walk everywhere. Alright guys, that's going to conclude the part. As always, I'm Priest101, and I'll see you guys later.